this video, learn how to connect to the Intel Edison using a virtual Ethernet connection known as Ethernet over USB. Ethernet over USB is useful when you're in a busy or restricted network environment and you need to obtain an IP address for the Intel Edison, or if you need to program your board offline using the Intel IoT Developer Kit IDEs. Before you can set up Ethernet over USB, you must have the Intel Edison drivers installed, which include R and DIS drivers. If you haven't done so, follow the Windows setup video first. After the Intel Edison drivers have been installed, you will need to configure a network adapter with a static IP address. On Windows 8, the quickest way to edit your computer's network connections is to right-click on the Start Menu button, then select Network Connections. On Windows 7 and below, go to Control Panel. Under Network and Internet, click View Network Status and Tasks, then click Change Adapter Settings in the sidebar. Connect a device mode micro USB cable from your Intel Edison to your computer. Wait one minute for the Intel Edison to finish booting up. Double click on the local area connection network adapter entry with the label Intel Edison USB R and Disk device. In the new dialog window, click Properties at the bottom. In this new window, select Internet Protocol version 4 from the list. Click Properties. Select Use the following IP address. For IP address, enter 192.168.2.2. Keep the default value for subnet mask, which will autofill. Click OK. If you get a system notification that 192.168.2.2 is taken, try any IP address within the ranges of 2.1 and 2.14. Do not use 2.15, which is already reserved for the USB gadget network interface. Go ahead and close any remaining network dialog windows that are open. There will be no noticeable difference to the local area connection adapter icon. Confirm a successful connection to the Intel Edison by visiting HTTP 192.168.2.15 in a web browser. Remember to use .15, which is the USB gadget network interface, and not .2, or the IP address you entered in the network configuration screen. Now that your board has an addressable IP address, set up an Intel Internet of Things IDE. Choose between the Intel XDK for JavaScript development or the Eclipse IDE for C and C++ development.